my new decks on my console and as we get closer to the e-invoice implementation, we will be releasing weekly guides on how you actually can use accounting software like SQL Accounting to simplify your implementation for the future, alright? So in today's video, we are actually looking into the first phase that you need to do. How are you going to update your customer information? So what happens is you will already be receiving emails from your customers or your suppliers asking you for information such as your TIN, BRN number, MSIC code, things like that, correct? So in SQL accounting, how can we do that in updates, correct? So we can come here to customer, we can come here to maintain customer, alright? So we press new and then let's say for example, your customer is Maxis. So all I just need to do is Maxis here. Alright, so what happens is if you can see on the right here, we have this call registration number. We press search function. The system will actually pull out and search all companies that has the word Maxis in it. Alright, so let's say for example, it's Maxis Wireless Communication. Press OK. So what happens is you see the registration number new will appear. If you come to text, their BRN number and their TI number all will be automatically updated. Okay, so what happens is if your customer is a Sundra Baha or registered under SSM, all you just need to do is press the search function and all this necessary information will be updated automatically. All right, so all you just need to do is to press save and then you can start creating invoices under this customer name. Okay, so another kind of customers that you have is example foreign customers. All right, so let's say we press new. So let's say example, we have this company called ABC, private, limited, okay? So when we actually press the search function here, you will not be able to search for that particular company because it could be an overseas company. So the necessary information that you need to create is, of course, you come to general back here. You need to make sure that the country is selected, all right? So let's say, for example, this company is belongs in Singapore. So we put Singapore here. And let's say, for example, they deal in Singapore dollars, all right? So for you, all you just need to do is because we cannot extract the information, so we must come here to the TIN information here. We must come here and we must put here foreign buyer, okay? So if it's a local customer, if it's a syndrome behind, all you just do is you key in the name, press search. For a foreign company, you come to general, make sure you select Singapore or your country of origin come to tax here and then select here foreign buyer okay so once you're done we press save okay so let's say example you want to try to create and validate your invoice for a foreign company right so you come here let's say we go sales you come to invoice and press new you select your customer let's say abc yes all right so what happens is you just press plus we select a product and then make sure the amount is there 20. okay press save then from here we just press my invoice you can actually submit your invoice and it's automatically updated all right so that's how easy it is to actually begin implementing an uh, invoice for your co company what happens is sql will extract the uh, company information for local companies if your client is a uh, association of or uh, say example under the ROAS, then what happens is you must manually key that in. However, if it's under SSM, then you can just press the search function and all the necessary information that you can uh, require would be updated. If it's a foreign company, you just need to update the country and of course just put the general uh, TIN information that is your foreign buyer. Right? So that's how easy it is to implement it inside your SQL accounting. Stay tuned for our next video. Thank you.